think uh, we've had some good enthusiastic practices, you know, and some really good hitting, which has been fun. Uh, competition is hot and heavy. Guys are working hard. Um, it's been it's been it's been fun first six days. I mean, spring football is always kind of fun for the coaches because it's all about teaching the system, evaluating the players, about the pressure of the play. That's always kind of nice. Coaches talk about uh, any position. A guy knows he probably won't be playing one play away, but then you get in a position like Devin Gardner is now, knowing he probably will be the guy. What's the change in preparation there? Well, I don't know if the big change in preparation is just uh, the kid has to continue to find himself within the system as to all of them. You know what I mean? We're all prepared pretty much the same way, being taught the same way. And in a lot of instances, a lot of the guys are the same reps, not everybody. So it's it's more of a, it's much more of an evaluation. It's systematic, too, don't get me wrong, but there's so much more evaluation going on. Once you start the season, when you're impressed, you know, you can get by already. How much did he learn to lead through playing down at well, I think he made some strides out there. I still think there's more to know, but I think he made some strides. Anytime you start experiencing success, uh, like I said dozens of times, you can become a better leader. It's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily follow, but once the team gains confidence in you, it's a lot easier to Not doing as well, that's a lot tougher. Have you been engaging with running backs considering your top guys from last year, two freshmen on? Just run them and see what they do. I mean, that sounds simple, but uh, just keep running them and see how they do. Uh, make sure that they're fairly balanced with regard to how many carries they get. Try to get them behind good offensive lines so they don't so they can get sh you know, shoulder skills. That's it. Knowing that you can't always do that. Not everybody can run behind the first line. But they try to keep it balanced who they play with and how much they carry the ball. And I think after 15 days of spring, you'll have a pretty good idea who the best one is. Yeah. One good thing about running back is it kind of the numbers tell you a lot, but sometimes the other stuff is less defined. Yeah, whoever comes out on top of the screen, they just kind of throw that into that competition. For sure. Derek. Yeah. They're going to, and even after spring, you know, it's going to be competitive. We're not going to win unless they just demonstrate they can't play the position. I haven't seen anything. So. Is anyone really standing out, though? Running? Oh, they're all about playing, about playing the same. I mean, that one day one looks pretty good, the next day the other looks pretty good. And sometimes it is predicated on who's blocking for them. I mean, that, that has to have something to do with it. But um, if I just told you this guy's starting to like right now, no. Nice, but that's. I just don't know if we're afforded that luxury right now. We just we just gotta find the best guy, regardless of how much experience he has, and hope you know, hope like that the line comes without the You think this to be a better run blocking unit this year? Yeah, I do. I think it will be, and I think there'll be some growing pains because they're new guys. But I think uh, again, another year in the system. Even though some of them didn't play, they've heard the words. They have played. They've been doing more practices. A lot of these kids were spring football last year, so this is some brand new to this game now. That, that presents a whole different issue, but they, they've heard the numbers, they've heard the words, they know pretty much, for the most part, what they Any of those guys standing out to you, those new, new guys up front? Uh, standout is a strong statement at this point. What are, you, what are your impressions? Then? Well, I think, I think uh, you know, Ben Braden is doing a nice job. Joe Brzezinski has been pretty solid. Jack Miller, and you can tell he's played the position a little bit now. And Jack's a lot more confident. He's doing a nice job with the snap, you know, which is a big part, too. So those inside three, and Kyle Kalis, you know, is, uh, is picking it up. I mean, all those guys, but no standouts. I, I would not venture to say that. But ever, I'll say this. I think every one of those guys have improved. 
how much, I'm going to save my judgment until we're done. But every one of them, from the time we stopped playing for the bowl game to now, and I'm talking more about the new guys, has gotten better simply because I think they know it better.